Be honest, this planet is boring. Or have you ever thought of leaving it to some other celestial object? I don't know, a comet, an asteroid, a red, big, boring ball of rock maybe? Well, if my guess is right, then today might be a lucky day. Because these three upcoming minutes will help you bring some good old astronaut spirit back to life. I'm Ziad, and today we're talking about space travel. It's been up to 45 years now since the last time humankind has gone beyond the Earth's orbit. That's a long period, right? But what makes it that difficult? Time. Time is the main cause preventing us to probe deeper in space. It can actually take thousands of years for the fastest rocket ever built to make it to the closest star to our sun. Let's take this little boy as an example. Reaching up to 62,000 kilometers per hour, Voyager 1 is the fastest object ever launched into space. And still, it would take it 640,957,741 hours to make it to Proxima Centauri, which is 26,706,959 days, which eventually is 73,169 years. Now, if my math is correct, then you'll be long dead before you make it there. And meanwhile, we'll just focus on going to Mars. But wait a minute, even though Mars is close enough to go to, even though we do have spacecrafts fast enough to make it there in less than a year, your health is still an issue. And that can only be explained by the fact that the human body has been meant to live on Earth, not in space. You see, once in space, your muscles and bones won't be functioning the way they used to on Earth. And that is due to the microgravity, aka weightlessness. Now the bone is a complex tissue. During your lifetime, it produces cells called osteoclasts that fragilitizes the bones. On the other hand, it also produces cells called osteoblasts that strengthens the bones. Not having any way to support in space, your bones will eventually produce more osteoclasts and less osteoblasts, resulting in the decretion of their density and thus their fragility. As for your muscles, their strength and volume will decrease due to the lack of use. But one way of preventing this though, is space exercise. Now as we can all agree on, life in space is unbearable. And one single mistake may cost you a lot. But I do believe that deep inside you lies an astronaut curious enough to take the risk. And who knows, maybe you can be the first one making the step on Mars. Right? <laughs> 